So, are your clothes, ma'am? Where is my? Put your clothes in a cow. She is sleeping. She whispered to him. She lined your three years old daughter on a bed and cover her pink blanket softly. Pack her soft forehead. Oops, sorry. Jungkook softly packed his daughter and smiled. He pulled your wrist and smiled. I hold his chest and giggle. Our princess is so beautiful. She goes on you. You up your head to him. Thanks for ironing my clothes. Where is my socks? I'm sorry, I forget to find. Let me find right now. It's fine, but please, little hurry up. In a fine, we're getting late, when. Here it is. Thanks. You quickly find out his socks and give him in a hurry. You left room. Quickly head to the kitchen. Sitting on a bed wearing his socks. Hey, man, come here for a second. Running into your room, quickly placing your hand over his mouth. Keep it down. You will wake her. Muttering under your hand. Removing your hand. What is it? Why are you yelling? Holding up his feet. Look at this. My socks don't match. Can you give me a matching pair? Singing and shaking your head. Seriously? You had to yell about this? Sorry, I didn't think she will wake up. Heading to the drawer and searching for a socks while well, she did, and now I will probably have to spend the next hour for getting back to her sleep. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to make things hard for you. Handing him a matching pair of socks. Here, just try to be a more considerate next time. You know how hard it to get her to sleep. Putting on his socks. I promise I will be quieter. Thanks for the socks. I'm sorry again. It's okay. Just remember we need to be a team. Especially in the morning. Nodding. Got it. Team. Quiet morning. From now on. Exactly. Now let's do the rest of the morning without any more drama, okay? Deal. Pull you on a quickly hug. Thanks for always keep us on a track. Hugging back always. Now go, finish your getting ready. Your students are waiting. Yeah, ma'am. Suddenly, Jungkook's phone rang loudly, break the morning silence. Five years old daughter, sweet, then stand up, quickly jump into Jungkook's lap. Dad! Hey, there, little one, did my phone wake up you? Look like someone's awake and full of energy. Answering the phone and quickly ending the call. Sorry about that. I will put it on a silent. So, what's for breakfast? Actually, I haven't made anything yet. I needed to watch her while I get this started. So, Prest, what? You haven't made a breakfast yet? Sure, we can lazy today. Rolling your eyes, lazy, really? It's been up a dealing with everything while you are struggling with your socks. Okay, okay. I was just stashing. I will take care of her. Come on. Giggling and climb into his lap. Daddy, let's play. 
Of course, what do you want to play? Smiling your head to the kitchen, play quietly please, I have to make a breakfast ready soon. Alright, let's read your favorite book, how about that? Yes, that one with the big red dog. Cliffhand, looking over to you, don't take so long, lazy bones. Calling back, keep talking and you may just get a for breakfast. Noted, I will be good, I promise. It's more like it. You two be here while I will pick something delicious. We will, right? Right, Daddy? Go closer to her. Heading to the kitchen, shaking your head with a smile. Alright, let's see what we are got for a breakfast. Few moments later, Jihoo holds Jungkook's tummy and hugged him tightly. Oh, my princess is so hungry. Well, me too. Oh, let's see. What your mom is doing? Jungkook stand up and carry Jihoo. He head to the directly kitchen. Oh really? I was sure like him. You was talking with your friend peacefully while cooking but suddenly... Winning playfully. We are striving over here. Come on. You can talk later. Glaring at him and quickly pull the phone back. Jungkook, don't just take my phone like that. It's just rude. Pouting, but I'm hungry. And so, Jihu can't talk later. Fine, I got it. But next time, just ask, okay? Smiling shippily, okay, I will. Sorry about that. Mom, I'm so hungry. Heading over the ball to Jungkook. Here, take this. To the dining table. Breakfast will be ready soon. Taking the bow. Thanks. Come on, Jihu. Let's go set the table. Yeah, breakfast time. At the breakfast table, you try to take your daughter into your lap, but she instead stay with Jungu. I want to see it in Dad's lap. Jungu hold her. So you serve his cup noodles and coffee. Chungo make a face quickly and bored by the cup noodles. Again cup noodles. Then you open another bowl and serve him pancakes. You look a bite rival and start to feeding Jihu first. She make a face and drink water quickly. Chungo takes a bite. His expression changed to shock. He struggled to swallow it and then glared at you. Holding back his frustration, why wow, this pancake is terrible. You can't even cook a single pancake properly. Angry, excuse me. I'm doing my best here. Maybe if you help more in the morning, things would be better and different. Frustrated, I do help, but I can't keep eating cup noodles for every meal, lunch, dinner, and now breakfast. I need a real food, okay? Fancy. Judging my studies, taking care of Jihu, and I'm human too. I can do everything perfectly all the time. Rising his voice, and I'm human too. I can keep eating this chunk. You think it's easy to begin a professor and coming home to this? Matching his volume. You think it's easy to be a student mother and trying to cook for us? I barely have any time for myself. I always help with you. I'm trying to support you. You have to understand my side too. Frustrated. You need to understand mine. We are supposed to be in this together. It feels like we are just arguing more and more. 
Look, get it. We are not overworld, but we needed to find out the better ways to manage this. We can fight like this. Taking a deep breath, I agreed. Maybe we needed to set around the rules and make the better schedule. I want something that works for both of us. I don't want it to keep fight either. Softering me neither. Try to communicate better support for each other more for Chihu. Smiling silently, agreed. We'll figure out this together. I think we need to set some rules. Number one, no talking on a phone while you're cooking. Turning around annoying. Excuse me? Why should I follow that rule? You always put my friends in the middle of things and you hang out with your friends all the time and I never stop you. Defensive. If it bother you, you should stop me then, but you never said anything. Raising your voice. I shouldn't have to. You should have to be understand that enough to understand. We are supposed to be parents, but you're acting like... Equally frustrated, and you're acting like I don't matter. I'm just asking for some peace when you're cooking and eating. Is that too much to ask? If I'm such a problem, maybe you shouldn't talk to me at all. Matching your tone. Fine by me. If you think that I'm unreasonable, then don't talk to me either. Looking at both in amusement and started to cheer up. Mom, Dad, please don't fight. Both of you took a deep breath, noticing her distress. Either the one feeling to apologize back down. Coming down a bite, but Fram just together through the breakfast without any more fight. Agreed, but we are not done the talking about this. Not friend of her, okay? Four smile. Let's be here breakfast. Come on, Jihu. Let's eat together. Helping Jihu turn a chair. Breakfast continue in a tense silence with the both of you avoiding eye content but trying to make a best of it for Jihu. After two days. After two days later, Jungkook is searching for his wallet in the bedroom. You are in a bedroom, busy to doing your makeup. Where is my wallet? Whisper a little to himself, but you are in the same room, so you hear too. I know where he put his wallet, but why I see him? I'm lazy and careless. Then why should I help him? Let him struggle, let him understand my place in his life. He's about to call out you, but remember the argument and decided to against it. Meanwhile, she who pulled on your skirt and asking for a banana milk. Why I always apologize? 7 June, I apologize. 5 June, I apologize. 3 June, I apologize. I also apologize this month already. Now, not anymore. Not this time. I will not. Mom, can I have some banana milk, please? In the middle of the important part of their makeup sign, just a little minute, almost done. She glances over at him, who is still looking for his wallet, but doesn't ask for help, clearly avoiding the speaking to you. Muttering to himself, where I put that wallet? Mom, please, I'm so trusty. Taking a deep breath, looking at him again, but decided to handle it by yourself. Okay, okay, just a second, Jihu. She put down your makeup brush and head to the kitchen to get the banana milk. Still searching for getting frustrated. Wallet, wallet, where are you? She returned with the banana milk and head to the Jihu and go back to finishing your makeup. 
Oh, thanks, mom, smiling silently. You're welcome, sweetie. Jungkook finally find out his wallet under the stack of the paper and sign in relief. Oh, finally! He looks over at you, but you are dressed in your makeup. He remembered the argument and decided to not to say anything. Finishing your makeup, still avoiding looking at him. Ready to go, Jihu? Nodding happily, holding her banana milk. Yes, mom. Gathering his things and still avoiding direct conversation. Let's go. We will be late. Right, let's go. Three of you head out, quickly holding into the line of frustration and neither willing to lose the argument of your self-respect. Under his breath, this can go on forever. We need to talk, but not now. Both of you remain silent, focusing on throughout the day while Jihu remained blissful and unaware of the tension. At the breakfast table, you and Jihu eat in a silence. Jihu sensing the tension, looking upset but remained quiet. Jihu continue to focus on a food, both stop but holding into your self respect. Mom, Dad, why you are both so quiet? Force a smile, just a tired. Eat your breakfast, nodding. Yeah, Jihu, let's just finish our meal, okay? But you are not talking like you used to. Did I did something wrong? Feeling a pang of guilt. No, you didn't do anything wrong, Mom and Dad. I was just busy. Glancing at you briefly and then looking at you. Exactly, we are just busy. Kindergarten, Jihu told everything to her age friends. It's so serious matter. Then your mom and dad will take a divorce. Then they will live separately and leave you alone. Your stepmother or father will hurt you. Little Jihu got scared to heal her friends, Sheena. Jungkook brings Jihu to his university with him on the day off from the kindergarten. He asks Pyun on his so he can go in a room while attending his lectures. Pyun got an important call and walked to the but said that Jihu to not move from her place till he come back. Jihu sneak out the room and look for you, Jungkook. Meanwhile, Jungkook in the middle of the giving the lecture and you attending it. Noticing Jihu walk into the classroom trying to separate a smile. Jihu, what are you doing here? Feeling your cheeks flush, all eyes on Jihu. Oh my. Only walk up to the front of the classroom. Dad, I wanted to talk with my mom. Trying to maintain his cumbers, Jihu, isn't the time or place. Interpreting mom come. Jihu grab his hand and pull him towards you, causing you both of blush furiously as the class watch in amusement. Jihu dear, what's wrong? Looking between you and Jungkook, talk with each other. Nervously cleaning his throat, Jihu, we are in the middle of interpreting again, no talk, turning to you, mom, I want a sibling. The entire class amped into the laughter as you and Jungkook exchanged the embracing lens. Jihu, we can talk about this later. Trying to see your face. Yes, Jihu, we can talk about it later. Now just go back. The 
class continued stroke as you and Jungo trying to compose yourself and continue with the lecture. Ji Ho remained to her desire for sibling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. From now on, we will not have fight in front of her. It's wrong effect on her. You're right. Even as a professor, I did this mistake. In overwork, we are exhausted. Yeah, from now, we will be make a good shit you. From tonight, let's go out for dinner. Let's go, mom. Yeah, little princess. Three shared a tight hug. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys all in the next video.